Today on Richmond Independent Radio News, VMFA and Anderson Gallery bring images from South Africa. Spanning over 50 years and featuring the work of 18 South African artists, Dark Room, Photography and New Media in South Africa since 1950 is the newest traveling exhibit at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. The show is also linked to works being shown at the Visual Arts Center of Richmond and VCU's Anderson Gallery. Tasha Grantham, guest curator for the VMFA exhibit, said the project had been nine years in the making, and the obstacles involved in putting the show on stemmed from the numerous talented artists who submitted work. Um, there's so many great artists to work with in South Africa that one of the hardest parts was making the selection that got down to the 18 artists that are represented in the show. Grantham also feels the exhibit has a storytelling aspect. The narrative of the exhibition sort of looks at the camera's role in South Africa, beginning with the introduction of 35 millimeter Leica photography in the early to mid 1950s, and then really highlighting the way that artists um, were able to use technology and kind of remain current. Um, even through the parts of the apartheid era in which they may have been more isolated. And this story, expressed through photography and new media, creates additional dramatic effect on the overall show. What happens is we move from black and white photography through color photography and into some photo-based installations and video art, which kind of, you know, makes a very nice metaphor for the movement you know, that the country itself faced in the second half of the 20th century. Simone Allen, a South African artist now based in Richmond, has work in the VMFA Darkroom show, as well as his own exhibit showing at the VCU's Anderson Gallery in connection to Darkroom. I mean, I think it's a, it's a great honor, and I'm, um, uh, I'm very excited to be in the space. Said Allen when asked about his work, a blown-up scan of a Mariam Makeba red vinyl record being in the front of the VMFA exhibition space. The, the, the piece is in such a particular position that you could almost view it um, from a number of different positions, not only downstairs but certainly upstairs, and I like that, that, uh, um, that feeling of being able to view it from afar and then be able to walk up close to it. Uh, so yeah, I, I think it's a great honor. Imaging South Africa Collection Projects is a survey of Allen's work over the past 12 years. Encompassing the entire three floors of the gallery, his collection projects alter the space in which you view the art using massive installations and manipulated walls to guide the viewer along. Ashley Kistler, director of the Anderson Gallery, explained the concept of imaging South Africa. Each of these sort of massive installations deals in one way or another with how um, South Africa has been branded, how its image has been shaped both internally within the country and externally. Taking up the majority of one floor in the gallery, Allen's stamp piece is a massive circular wall filled with thousands of stamps. Starting with the first stamp South Africa issued in 1910 until now, the collection is something Kistler thought was particularly telling. It's a way of charting how South Africa has presented an image of itself, both internally and to the wider world, through these little images. Um, and oftentimes, as you look through this amazing display, what becomes interesting is not only what is shown, but what is not. Kistler sees both shows as an important chance to view art from a region of the world we are not too familiar with. Well, I do think it's a unique opportunity. I think it's important to um, have as diverse an exhibition program as possible. And that means not only, of course, investigating what artists are doing in this country, but what artists are doing globally. And so whenever there's a chance, I think, to um, explore an area of artistic activity that is beyond you know, what we might be familiar with, that's really important. Both the VMFA's Dark Room and the Anderson Gallery's Imaging South Africa run until late October. The Anderson Gallery is free. The VMFA show is $10 for adults and $8 for students and seniors. Visit our blog for an HD video of the story and to hear past stories, www.wrirnews.blogspot.com. For Richmond Independent Radio News, I'm Brad Kuttner.